Hey girl, hey, it's me, Amber D, and thank you so much for coming through for another video. If you haven't already, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, girl, good morning. It is Sunday, and just getting ready for the day. I have a pretty chill day. Lined up for myself today. If you saw my last vlog, then you know, yesterday, um, we went out and did some fun anniversary stuff. And I tried this new waterproof mascara from CoverGirl, which I absolutely loved. But I don't normally wear waterproof mascara, so I'm not loving how it's not coming off without an actual makeup remover, which I don't normally need. So I don't have. So I washed my face a bunch of times last night. It came off like maybe a little bit more than halfway. This morning, this eye seems to be pretty good. Seems to be pretty clean, these lashes over here. This one still has some residual day old mascara. But ultimately, what I want to show you right now is um, my new deep pore cleaner contraption thing. This that I got from Timu. I used it once already. It comes with these additional brush heads. This is, or suction heads. This is the small one, if you can see. And then there's an oval one. This one has like an exfoliating textured end to it. I'm a little nervous about that one. I think it may be a little rough on the skin because this one already, like this one without any texture on it already has plenty of suction. So I think that one may leave my skin like irritated. And then anyway, this is the large one. But this is the only one I've used so far. So um, I just washed my face. And before I go in with any of my skincare, I'm going to go over my whole entire face with this to clean out all the extra dirt, oil, and leftover makeup or whatever out of my skin. Now, I haven't actually worn makeup over my whole face um, since last Saturday. And I did this for the first time on Wednesday morning, I think. Um, but my goal is to do it twice a week to keep my pores nice and clean. So let's go. That's what it sounds like. And um, last time I started on my nose, because that's the most oily area for me. <laughs> Can you see? It looks funny, it kind of feels funny, but it is actually working. I can tell by seeing, I don't know if you can see already, but the stuff is coming out. Yeah. I start in the areas where I'm most oily when my pores are the biggest. And then I just kind of let it do its thing. I feel like there's a lot less coming out now than it was last time, which is good. I can also tell that this whole week since I did it um, uh, last Wednesday that my pores have been looking smaller. Okay. My forehead is done. It's a little red, but that's to be expected.
You can see where it's starting to leave like red little suction marks on my skin. It's pulling stuff out, but again, this is a lot less than it pulled out when I did this on Wednesday. A lot less. Okay. We are done. Everything feels good. My pores look, well actually everything just kind of looks a little red right now, but <laughs> which is kind of exactly how it looked last time. Actually, it's a little less red this time and then last time, but I'm gonna just give it a minute to calm down and then I'm gonna actually do more of the rest of my skincare Give it a minute to calm down and then there is so much less in here than there was last time. Oh, no, let me see. This was full last time, like full of grossness. So I'm excited that there's literally less than, there's like a maybe a fourth and the amount of stuff that was in here. I'm so excited. I finally decided to try one of these. Oily skin. Oily skin girls, get you one of these. Clean your pores out. Get you one of these. This one was $5 from Timu. They also have them on Amazon for like $15, $20. But most definitely worth it. So this is the gunk. This is what came out of my face out of the pores on my face. And again, this is, this is even less than a fourth than last time. This is a fraction of what came out of my face last time. Last time, obviously being the first time I had ever done it, but this is so much less. This is like, like a little bit of earwax. This is like so much less, but you see like the color, like this is like, extra stuff that was just like down in my pores waiting to cause a breakout that's not there anymore hallelujah all right guys so if you saw my last vlog then you know me and my husband did some diy art these are my canvases they actually go this way and they kind of connect together right here i'm gonna hang them a little bit like this just above these right here i specifically wanted to have these like this above these stands this one is lower this one is higher and so my canvases are gonna go like this this one being lower and this one being higher i still need to do my touch-up painting here but i'm gonna hang these up here right now anyway until i do my touch-ups okay so i'm literally just using two thumb tacks one for each to hang these farther apart.
Yeah, you, you could go. So you said down a little bit? Yeah, so you could try to get those lines yeah. even with go down a little bit and go over just to the over, right? Yeah, go over a little bit more. If you want to. So I'm gonna say you just you see how far you want to get over. Uh, this is probably enough here. All right, this is the finished product. I love it. I think it turned out so cute. I love it perfectly above these two stands. This is like my view where I sit across from my desk when I'm getting work done. So to have this wall bare for like the past couple weeks has been kind of boring, but I'm excited that I have these up. I already have ideas of what I want to kind of have on these shelves here and then like on these little shelves here on my desk. But for now, I'm excited to have this part of my office curated, put together and looking super cute. Hey girl, hey. It is Monday and today drained me. <laughs> today drained me, girl. I am so tired. I talked to you before about um, my work week, how it starts off busier and then it kind of gets less busy as the week goes on. But last week was like that, but I feel like it didn't get less busy enough as the week went on at least less busy enough for my liking but today was absolutely doing the most it really was and i'm excited that today is over with at least the work part of my day but uh what actually was a good part about today the best part about my day today was um being able to look up over my computer monitors and see the artwork that i put up yesterday the work that i did myself so that was that was a good part of today i'll take it but um, since I got off work, um, I went ahead and did my daily chore. I swept up today. And then I've just been sipping on um, some of my current favorite wine, the mango strawberry um, from Arbor Mist. Girl, you better get you a taste. So good. But anyway, um, my husband is um, working over the road tonight. So tonight is a dinner for one type of night. So I'm going to go ahead and get started so I can eat and chill out and get ready for the rest of my week to get less busy than it was today so this is what i'm making for dinner tonight it's a quick and easy frozen skillet meal from the frozen food section it is the italian sausage and rigatoni skillet meal from heb which is my local grocery store i've gotten their meals like this before um the one i normally get though is um it's a bow tie pasta with um, grilled chicken, spinach, and um, like a creamy Parmesan sauce, which I really, really like. But I went ahead and decided to try something different this time. Uh, I don't imagine I won't like this when it has the rigatoni pasta with Italian sausage and a herb tomato sauce. Um, it's really, really easy. It has like a sauce, a little sauce packet in there that you put in warm water to let thaw out. And then you literally just put everything um in the skillet or a little pot on the stove and let it cook together and it literally just takes 13 minutes um that's probably including letting the little sauce packets thaw out because it really don't take that long at all so me being me i'll probably doctor it up with some extra seasons and stuff like that but i should be ready to eat in no time okay let's get this party started So here is the sauce packet, and um, they have 
this side, and then they have um, they have a bigger size, it's like a family size. This is like the size for two. Two. It says serve th three servings per container, but yeah, right. You know that's that's about two. Um, so this will be perfect for me for dinner tonight, and then like leftovers for tomorrow night or something like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and do a bowl. Packet star out and then add it to the pasta. Let that cook for about 10 minutes ish. This is what the pasta looks like, just fresh out the bag with the frozen sausage and the red peppers. And then again, just add the sauce, let it do its thing, add your seasonings, and I'll probably sprinkle on some Parmesan cheese and stuff afterwards. And then I'll be ready to eat and chill out. I think the sauce is. Good. It's mostly defrosted. frozen pieces in there but it won't take long to thaw out once everything gets warmed up. <clears throat> okay so I'm gonna put this on like <clears throat> medium high heat. warm up a little bit once it's like halfway warmed up ready to go then I'll add some seasonings and stuff and then let it finish cooking all the way through <clears throat> smells really really good okay so now I'm gonna add in some seasonings I'm gonna add in salt pepper And some very good garlic from Miss Tabitha Brown. Get that all mixed in. And I'm going to tie it down just a little bit and let it finish cooking. This is what it looks like so far. Just 
Okay. Now I'm going to add a little Parmesan cheese. And parsley flakes. All right, girl, this is dinner for one. This looks fancy. Okay, girl, let's eat. All right, girl, let's have a little taste or a big taste because I'm big hungry. Okay. Got some sausage, got some pasta, got some Parmesan cheese. Mmm. 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 This sausage is really good. The sauce is pretty flavorful. Mmm. Mmm. I wish I had like some type of garlic bread or breadstick or something uh, to dip in, but this is really, really good. All right, girl, I'm about to go ahead and grub on the rest of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. If you haven't already, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.